always wondered what's inside of a snowboard boot. So today we're gonna cut apart one of the most popular snowboard boots to see what's inside of it. And this is gonna be more of an exploratory, curiosity-based cut in half rather than a review. But if you like this, let me know by liking and commenting to help this video out because if it does well, maybe we'll do some comparisons and do a lot more snowboard reviews. So let me know. And thanks to Jim Green for sponsoring this video. They're a South African boot company that's really made a pretty big splash in the US market by making a boot that's really simple but durable and cutting out all the fluff and gimmicky features. And I've cut apart a few of their boots on the channel with the Razorbacks and their Felly boots. And I haven't shown you the Stockman boots, which are basically a slip-on work Chelsea that is built on the exact same last and has the exact same outsole as the Razorback boots. And they also just released their African Ranger boot that's a really cool short wedge sole boot for work. And they have a cool cause behind them too because for every 10 pair of their African Rangers they sell, they give one pair to an actual Ranger themselves. So check out both those boots via the links in my description and be sure to use the code Green Rose to save 10% off of all their boots. And, and I'll also put a link to the other Jim Green cut in half videos that I've done before so you guys can check those out too. Thanks again to Jim Green. Now let's go over the boot in Information. So the brand is Vans, the style is the High Standard Pro. The color I have is brown and red. They weigh two pounds, 12 ounces. They retail for $259 and they're made in China. Now let's go over the information that we can gather about this boot before we cut it in half, starting with the leather. So this is a chrome tan leather that's about 1.8 millimeters thick. And this is some of the nicer leather I've seen in any Vans. I don't know why they don't use this leather in more of their regular sneakers, because it's a pretty leather and it, it's nice and tumbled, so it's soft and it's a fairly thick leather. So I wish they would make some of their sneakers out of this leather. And then moving to the lining, the thing that they highlight most, there's obviously Obviously tons of stuff in the lining of this boot but they highlight the merino wool lining they call it their smart wool and wool is a really interesting material because it has tons of really unique properties that, that are really great for cold and wet environments for instance wool can absorb up to 30 percent of its weight in moisture without even feeling wet which is pretty crazy and also has tons of other things but instead of repeating what what I did in the Uggs video go watch that Uggs video because I go through a lot more information on wool itself then to the construction of this boot so this is a cemented construction and that means this outsole and this midsole are glued onto the bottom of the boot there's no stitching holding this together but it's a snowboard boot it's not like you're actually walking around in this boot you're snowboarding in it this insole is pretty interesting because you've got it's just a typical foam insole it's a kind of a memory foam type material but on the arch and around the heel you've got a little bit harder rubber that gives you a little bit more arch support and helps cup your heel and i kind of wish that they would put these inside their regular shoes they, i know they have something similar to this in some of their skate shoes but this is a good insole the next to the outsole so this is a rubber based outsole with a heavy lug on it they call it their v2 waffle pro and then up above that, you've got the foam midsole. This is their Ultra Kush EVA foam midsole to give you a little bit more squish, a little more impact resistance to keep these boots comfortable while you're riding. So that covers pretty much everything from the outside. So now let's cut this thing in half and see if we can figure out why they make these snowboard boots so big and chunky and so rigid and how this thing is structured. Five hours later. Well, that was shockingly difficult to cut in half, but let's see what's inside. So there's basically two boots inside of this boot. You've got this inside liner boot and then the outside boot. 
Now you can see why I was struggling so hard to cut this backstay in half. You've got this really big slab of plastic running all the way up the length of the boot. And this is here to help distribute the weight of your leaning body across the entire height of the boot rather than just one tiny little pinch point right at your heel. You can also see this internal harness they have on the inside here that tightens down around your instep and your heel to lock all that area in place. Because when you're on a snowboard, if you lift your heel, you want that to be communicated all the way to the board and not just lifting on the inside of your boot. You want any movement of your foot to be transferred directly to the board. And you can also see how much foam is on the inside of this boot all the way through the lining. And this isn't just a soft foam like in the insole. This is a really stiff, hard foam. And this is the same thing as the backstay. It's helping distribute the weight of that pinch point right around the front of your ankle across the entirety of your shin. And we can also now see this lasting board underneath of the footbed and the ultra cush midsole and that rubber outsole. And one thing that I thought was really interesting is how this the outside lacing system is, is anchored all the way deep inside of the boot with this ring here to help suck that tongue all the way to your shin to keep it really nice and tight. And then if we look at the inner boot, you can see this outside X cage is what they call it, of foam on the outside that creates that little pocket for your heel and your heel bone to, to lock into. And even more of that higher density foam all the way through this inner boot. And this, and this foam is interesting because over time it really breaks into the shape of your foot. And you can also heat mold these, these boots to make them break in faster. So overall this boot is trying to achieve three key things. The first one being comfort by it loading this thing up with tons of foam and lots of rigid materials that evenly distribute the weight of your leaning body across as big of a surface area as possible. The next one is locking your foot into the boot itself. By having three or four different tightening and lacing systems, you're really locking your instep and heel into the boot itself so that any movement isn't wasted inside of the boot, it's directly communicated to the board. And the third one being keeping your feet nice and dry and warm by loading this boot up with wool and insulation and multiple layers to make sure that all that heat in your foot isn't just dissipated through the boot. So kind of interesting cutting this thing apart. You know, it's a quick overview of just general how and why a snowboard boot is constructed. So if this was interesting to you, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks again to Jim Green for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, we have the Black Friday sale going on right now until Monday, where you can save 25% off all the stuff that we make by hand in our shop by all of us here at the shop. So thank you guys for everything that you do. And let me know which boot you want me to cut apart next. See ya.